What's going on guys? We are making sure that this lockout is secure. We've got Amber over here inside the enclosure. We also have Onyx, the Black Jaguar boy, who is locked up because we need to check inside of the lockout for Amber's baby. Our Jaguars have just had a little baby boy. He's really cute, but this morning we have not been able to see the baby. So we've just gotten here and we need to check inside. Come on in. This is the igloo that the Jaguars have. It's really cool. It might be a little bit dark in here. Probably gonna have Sean hold that. Let's see if we can get into here. So we're going into the lockout now. The audio might be a little bit weird if you guys. It might be a little bit hard to see me, but this is the cool dark place where Amber had her baby Jaguar. She was able to give birth to him just two nights ago, and we woke up and in the morning saw this baby. But right now, guys, I don't think this baby is in here. We are looking all around in here. and You should be able to see this baby pretty easily. Although, this baby can fit in a lot of different cracks and crevices. It could be almost hiding where maybe the mom, Amber, has tucked her baby away. The issue that we are worried about is that the mom might have eaten her baby. It's something that happens in the wild. It's something that we have dealt with here in captivity, but as you guys know, we have had a lot of babies that we've raised ourselves, tigers, jaguars, lions, and the reason that we raise them ourselves is to ensure their safety because sometimes the parents can do this and we want to make sure that these cubs are healthy. The video that is playing right now is of the baby last night just before people left the zoo. That is how the baby was left with Amber, the mom, in this lockout. And now we are looking again for the baby. There's this upper shelf here again i'm not sure how well you guys can see me but we're looking around there's no way the baby could have gone down this drain here the only thing that we can think of now is that potentially this baby is out in the enclosure and i'm hoping we can find it So we are in the enclosure now. You can see Amber is right here. We've got to lock this behind us. We are locked in with her. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, sweet girl. Now, when we can't find a cub, we have to look at the mom's actions and she isn't really acting much different than normal. She's pretty calm. She's pretty collected. It's okay, mama. Usually we wouldn't mess with her much, but now that I think the cub might be gone, it's a little bit different to interact with her. And again, guys, we've already searched through here a bit, but now I am just taking you with me to triple check, double check for this baby is obviously very important. You can see we have Onyx over here, big boy. Hi. This is the dad to that baby. But guys, I don't know if we're going to be able to find this baby here. There's a lot of little cracks and crevices, again, that have already been searched through. And our speculation so far is that Amber has actually eaten the cub. The first baby that Amber had was Lua, the little black jaguar girl, which you guys have seen if you've been here on the channel. And she actually dropped her right here in the rock. She brought her out of the lockout and dropped her right here. And that's when we knew it was time to go in and take her so that we could hand raise her. But now I am not seeing any signs of this cub. There really isn't many places besides these rocks. There's some big cracks and crevices in here but I'm not seeing the baby. Amber is over here just kind of hanging out in her igloo in the lockout, but she doesn't look so fierce. These jaguars in the wild are so crazy. And to show you that, we've got to head to the back 
to see our back Jaguars. As we were on our way to the Jaguars, I wanted to stop and say hi and check on our kids. We just moved this whole pride yesterday and Max is doing real good. The girl's doing real good over there behind him. Zeus is doing good. These guys were just moved into their new enclosure here to be separated from Dana because after the knockdown the other day, we discovered that she has distemper. So I'm not exactly sure if you guys are going to see the video of their move before or after this one comes out. But right now, we've got to give this big chicken to a Jaguar boy. We are already being stalked right now and this is an enclosure that I don't want to get too close to. Oh my goodness, hi big boy. Hi big boy, this is Nadar. Look at his big hooks, look at his big old head. We've got to be really careful with him because he means business. All he is is straight power and muscle. All right, we'll give this to you, we'll give this to you. Look at that. He is just chowing down. He basically went right through that. Let's see what he does now. He's probably gonna be looking for another chicken treat. Nadar, you are just a big handsome boy. This is actually Amber's parents. And Amber was raised by us. This is a picture of when she was real tiny. Oh, we always gotta watch out for this guy because he is crazy. and hanging out with him you can really see how fierce of a predator the jaguar is now i brought this big boy a treat because i'm not just trying to come back here and make him feel on edge maybe a little bit stressed i want to give him a reward for this experience together but that's about all the relationship that we have we didn't get to raise him hands-on as we did with amber which is why the bond with amber has grown so much not just with me but everyone who was a part of her life so let's go back and see her here she is again, this poor sweet mama. I don't exactly know why she would do this to one of her own cubs, but again guys, this happens in the wild all the time. The mom can eat the baby, the dad can also do it, predators can do it. So this is why you'll see here that we have a lot of cubs that are hand raised, just as Amber was so that we can prevent this situation from happening. It's really sad. Everyone here at the zoo with the news this morning has been mourning the loss of our new little baby. Only three days old. This would have been the third day that we've had this little baby, a part of our animal family here at ZWF. So we're hoping that Amber can have another beautiful cub soon and definitely hoping that this situation does not happen again. Mario was just saying that he was thinking of even pulling the cub yesterday, but there's a lot of benefits from the cub hanging out with its mom for the first few days, even weeks. The milk that the mom produces for this baby is very important in the growth and the start of this new baby's life. So to pull that baby so early can be detrimental to the baby's health. And now she's outside the lockout. She is loose in the enclosure. She doesn't obviously seem to be searching for her cub. She probably knows what happened. If the cub was missing and she didn't know where it went, she'd probably be pacing all over. But you see how I can sit next to her comfortably? This wiring, she could put her hand all the way through. She's just a sweet girl. I don't know why this happened again, guys. And so I think we're gonna wrap things up here. We're probably gonna let Onyx out soon so they can be back together. I know she misses him, but if you guys stuck around and watched this full video, thank you for sticking around. I'm really sorry. Oh, look at the big old yawn. I'm really sorry that this is some bad news that we had to share with you, but I love sharing every aspect of life here with the animals. This is just a tragedy today, but hopefully, like I said, we get a new baby Jaguar in the future. If you guys wanna see that, you're gonna to have to subscribe to the channel, like this video if you did, learn something from it, and I will see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.